Welcome to the September 10th, 2018 Advance Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, President McGowan Group and your financial weatherman bringing you a weekly tour of the global financial markets and investment strategy implications. Thank you for tuning in. You may want to keep the pen out for a quick educational tour. Dow Jones Industrial Average. We go longer term in this week's program at NetworthRadio.com. The longer term implications of value at risk of loss after a historic run in the markets. The question we're about to answer, we're going to give an example from 1999 on a high flyer, but we're also going to ask the question, now that Apple and Amazon crossed the trillion dollar mark, retreated a bit this week, how much money does it take to drive a company higher if the stock is valued at a trillion dollars? Let's look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This value at risk of loss, 14,000 to 7,000, actually a little below. That was a 50% value at risk of loss for the blue chip US index. And that was similar to the S&P 500 index. That's your equity risk from any point in time based upon statistical measures like value at risk of loss, which is a little more complex. We're not going to cover that here. We went into more details on the program. Now, here we see the Dow rising from below 16,000 to 26,000. That same risk applies, and it means that it is a good time to start harvesting equity in moderate measures, a piece at a time, take some gains off the table. Where would we do it? Well, here's a good example. Texas Instruments. I did an article in the late 1990s for the executives in the telecom companies and the chip companies and some of the tech that said it was the biblical option harvest and the tree and the fruit. Take the, tree off, take the fruit off the tree, don't let it go to waste, and after every major rally we encouraged harvesting about 10% of the position. If double digit growth continued, the position would still over time be larger. Uh, but in this case, it helped us save some of the Texas Instruments retirees before a decline value at risk of loss from 100 to below 20. That was rather extraordinary and an unprecedented value at risk of loss. And you can see the increase here from about $20 after the crisis to 120 peak. It means that for those that work for Texas Instruments that have option and concentrated stock positions, probably a good time to institute a harvesting strategy. Come see us at the Crescent and you can get a plan updated from the team that cares as well as an office tour. Apple and Amazon hitting a trillion dollar market cap means it takes tens of billions of dollars to drive that stock higher. And here at 223, we can see the rally from about $75, a tripling in Apple just since 2013. Now, Apple's fundamentals are a little bit better than Amazon. Amazon might have to control the whole universe in 10 years to prevent a correction after this historic run, which was relentless. You can see also the risk of having multiple years where there's no money made after the IPO in Amazon. Well, if it takes tens of billions of dollars of new money to drive a stock higher, that's where it might be wise to take some off the table. Other harvesting strategies for North Texas executives include Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. Uh, Lockheed Martin, you can see the correction here, about 40% the military industrial complex is generally a better place to hang out during uh, a correction. You can see the 2002 correction. Now that we've gone to 350, from a level of about 125, a, a relentless, beautiful rally, and a harvesting strategy is in order as well. We go to Raytheon here. A similar decline here of about 30 to 45 percent, and we can see the rally from about 75 all the way to above 200, a near triple for Raytheon as well. So congratulations to the executives that drove that. Might be time to take a little bit off the table. This weekend's program also goes into key questions like value at risk of loss. 
Join us at NetworthRadio.com. Come down, get a plan at the Crescent from the team that cares. You can fill out the preliminary client questionnaire and get on the free subscription list by simply calling 214-720-4400 twice a month. We'll send you what we think are the most important research pieces. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel and we have breaking financial news, when the markets quake, you want to be a subscriber because you'll have an alert right there on the screen. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman, President McGowan Group. Thank you for joining us. My firm, McGowan Group Asset Management, sponsors NetworthRadio.com and, of course, our YouTube channel under McGowan Group. Some educational disclosures and discussions that I wanted to add to the broadcast. The first is I'm very proud of our team including Stephen Norris who will be added as soon as we redo the picture. He's our newest team member. Come down, meet the team that cares, get a written plan because the securities we discuss, the financial news we discuss, that's not a recommendation until you actually come down and get a customized plan at the Crescent. You'll get a tour and we look forward to seeing you. We're going to cover value at risk of loss in portfolios, and you can see it right here. Learn about our performance, what happened in 2008, how long did it take to recover. All of those items are posted right here at networthradio.com or the mcgowangroup.com. The other part of the program, when we look at price fluctuations in bear markets and risk control, that's a huge part of NetworthRadio.com. We look forward to helping you advance your plan and your cash flow. Come down and meet the team that cares.